It's time to be burning. Sponsored by Fearless Boilers and Pavilion Tankless Water Heaters. You think you can be burning? Good luck. It's time to be burning. All right, Matt Meany here looking handsome, by the way. Kid looks great. He's a very handsome kid. I got to give him that. We're going to play. Talk, who are you talking about? Matt Meany. Oh, yeah. He's, He's handsome. Yeah. Uh, Beat Bernie is uh, yes. time for Beat Bernie. Who's today's contestant? Johnny in Connecticut. He's an actor who's not today and a stand up comic. Johnny, good morning, pal. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you doing, Sid? Good, buddy. Uh, you're an actor? What uh, what kind of acting do you do? I just I do a lot of stand in work for uh, Richard Dreyfus and uh, a wow. lot of other stars. That's great. How long have you been doing that for? Johnny, how long have you been doing that for? Sorry, um, I had a bad signal. That's okay. How about now? Uh, yeah, great. How long have you been doing these uh, these uh, stand-in uh, jobs and acting? Oh, God, about tw- 20 years. Oh, long time. And you're a stand-up comic, yeah, too? I, yeah. In fact, I lived in uh, Boca Raton when I worked in a, a movie called The Crew. and w- I lived there for about six months. Oh, yeah. Well, where were you? East side or west side? By the water or out west? By the water. Nice. All right. Well, now you're in Connecticut. Very nice. And uh, you're today's contestant and beat Bernie. Here's question number one, John. Former U.S. Marine Anthony Swofford's 2003 memoir, Jarhead, was his first-hand chronicle of action in what war? Uh, the Iraq War. Wrong, you two-legged bag of anthrax, you Jesus. It's interesting. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's not, because it includes Afghanistan, yes, too. It's actually close, the Persian but... Gulf War, the Desert Storm, also acceptable. And I think that was that was the movie. Isn't with... that the same? Jake Gyllenhaal, mm, it's not really the not same. Not really. Because as Afghanistan is, I don't know, it may be the same. Though Desert Storm was in Iraq. Oh, we got, we'll got. check with the, uh, we'll the check. Wars, though. All right, on July 4th, 2018, a woman climbed the base of what monument to protest the separation of migrant families? Was it A, the Washington Monument, B, the Statue of Liberty, C, Mount Rushmore? Geez, Washington Monument. Wrong, you two-legged bag of anthrax, you be Jesus. The woman originally claimed she would not come down off of the Statue of Liberty until migrant families were released from deter- detainment centers. She was brought down by rescuers after three hours. It is the Statue of Liberty. Number three, currently, who are the two United States Senate members from our state, New York? Huh. Um, uh, Schumer? Yep. And uh, come on, lady up in Troy, New York, really annoying. Uh, don't know. Uh, Wrong, the other answer back is back Kirsten back. Gillenbrand. Number four, Middlesex. This is right up your alley, buddy. Middlesex, New London, and New Haven are all counties in what northeastern state? Hmm, Connecticut. <laughs> Very good. And finally, who was the head of the PLO, Palestinian? Liberation Organization from 1969 until his death in 2004. Wait, can you repeat that? Can you repeat, repeat, Who was the head of the PLO from 69 through 2004? No idea? All right. Uh, Wrong, be, all right. We'll save the answer. Jesus. By the way, uh, 2004, I was on with Imus, and they had the hey, funeral. Hey, uh, it's too late. Thank you. Hold on. Uh, they had the funeral, Lewis, for this aforementioned person. And I made a comment that day about the funeral for this person on Imus. Oh, yeah. That answer. is still on my Wikipedia page today. I won't, I won't repeat it here. I'm going to go in and take it out. <laughs> it's still on. I wish I could do some of that, by the way. You can. On Wikipedia. I don't know how to do it. I have all this nasty stuff up, I said, all these years. I think you secretly like it. Yeah, I guess I do. It's Curtis Sliwa, and I want to bring you some important information regarding the pandemic nursing home scandal, which resulted in so many unnecessary deaths. To shed some light on this important issue, I have Jeff Guzman here from the law firm of Krenzel Guzman Herbert. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me, Curtis. Jeff, is it true that former Governor Cuomo mandated that nursing homes take in COVID patients? Most New Yorkers mistakenly believe that was the case. However, it's not true. The state only issued guidance to nursing homes, suggesting Suggesting that they admit such patients, and even after the guidance was rescinded shortly thereafter, nursing homes continued to admit 
COVID positive patients. Jeff, hold on. So you're saying that these nursing homes do bear some of the responsibility for what happened? Yes, I am. These nursing homes greatly increased the risk to existing residents. Also, nursing homes may have made financially motivated decisions to admit COVID positive patients despite the known risk to existing residents. Then Governor Cuomo's administration underreported nursing home COVID deaths by 50%. The actual number was roughly 16,000 deaths. It makes so many of us so angry. So you're saying that those family members can sue these nursing homes? Yes, and my firm is representing many of them. When you were on the air with Sid Rosenberg, the phones blew up. They did. I think a lot of people just didn't know who to call or that their family might be entitled to compensation. I'm glad to get the message out that at Krenzel Guzman Herbert, we're working hard to fight on behalf of these families. To everyone listening out there, if you or a friend lost a loved one to COVID, call Jeff Guzman and his team at KG Law today. Jeff, where can you be reached? You can call our office at 212-227-2900 or visit us at kglawteam.com. That's the KG Law Team at 212-227-2900 or just go to kglawteam.com. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Curtis. Here is uh, Bernard. Bernie, all you need to uh, win today is is a uh, two. Two. Sydney, you, you could change it. Get somebody to do it for you. You can do it today. I don't know how to do it. I, no, I, no, get somebody to do it. Okay. Just because get it's somebody all this that nasty knows. stuff. And, you know, for years, when you uh, Googled my name, the first thing that popped up was my mugshot. Well, the Google part, I can't, I don't know, but the Wikipedia part, as Lou says, you, you can go in and you can do change it. that you in can. one okay. day. Okay, right. I, I don't specifically know how to do now, it. Now the but... problem is all the stuff that it says that I said on Wikipedia is true. I just don't need it up there for uh, forever. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, you know Bernie, and, and I did make a comment about that particular funeral back in 2004 that is still there today. Okay, let's get to the game. Two and you win, Bernie. Number uh, one. I like it. I yeah, like it's it. easy for you today. Former U.S. Marine Anthony Swarbridge 2003 memoir, Jarhead, was his first-hand chronicle of action in what war? What was the last Anthony what? It doesn't matter. He, he, he made a memoir that was called Jarhead, and in fact, Jarhead. he made it a movie with, uh, with um, Jake Gyllenhaal. And it was the uh, first end chronicle of action on what was 2003. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's got to be 2003. Yeah. I'll go with uh, 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 Iraq or Afghanistan. I'll go with Iraq. Wrong, you're too late. You know what? They're both right. I'm sorry. Okay. He said Iraq, too. Which it, they, they say the Persian Gulf War or Desert Storm, but I got to give him Iraq. I got to give it to him. No, Matt came in before and, and claimed no. Oh, he said no. Okay. Yeah, he, oh, you yeah. both got it right. You both got yeah, it wrong. It doesn't matter. That war was mostly Kuwait. Correct. Oh, that's right, too. Kuwait. Yeah. Very right. good, Bernie. Right. See, right. Bernie knew that. Let's give it to him. All right. <laughs> On, so right now you still need two of the next four to win. Matt Meany was right. On July 4th, 2018, a woman climbed the base of what monument to protest the separation of migrant families? Was it A, the Washington Monument? The Statue of Liberty. Yes. Remember it clearly. She was up there for three hours. Nicely done. You get one of the next three right, and you'll get them all right, I think. You win. Currently, who are the two United States Senate members from New York? That would be uh, Schmucky Schumer and uh, the lady in hiding. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Gillibrand. Yeah, she actually came out a couple of weeks ago with the Roe versus Wade stuff. Otherwise, you never hear from her. But you've already won today's game. You lead by a score of 2-1. to one. Here's number four, Bernie. Middlesex, New London, and New Haven are all counties in what northeastern state? Uh, Connecticut. That is correct. The, nut, the nutcake state. Yeah. Chris Libertini checks in. He said, I just added something to your Wikipedia. So he added. He didn't take anything down. <laughs> That's very funny, Chris. And, uh, oh, look at this guy, the great Danny. And number five with a chance to go four right today. Who was the head of the PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization, from 69 until his death in 2004? Yes, sir. He's my baby. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Arafat. Yeah. Yep. The comment that I made on the I Miss show during his funeral is what I was talking about earlier. It's still up in my Wikipedia. Oh, it was unfortunate, yeah. but it was. I actually know what it was. I remember that. <laughs> of course you do. We were working together at the time. It was a big furor at the oh, time. Oh, yeah. well, they went crazy. I think I said they went crazy. Anyway, that's, uh, that's an impressive <laughs> We better win. get in there and get that out. <laughs> <laughs> Four to one, the final score today. Bernard gets by Johnny in Connecticut. Bernie Johnny is an actor and a stand-up comic. Say hello to Johnny. Hey, Johnny. How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you doing, Bernie? Hey, I'm putting up a protest flag. Every time uh, Sid asked me a question, there was loud static, and you couldn't hear a thing. And you couldn't hear a thing, so that impeded your no. uh, ability? I, only only when he asked me a question, it was just loud, uh, piercing static. So in other words, you did not hear the question, and that's why you got the answers wrong? No. 
Oh, I uh, got one wrong that I answered. Yeah. Okay, so so you want to protest? I'm not sure what you what, what you heard the question, but you got the answer wrong anyway. But you're protesting because there was static. So what should we? What do you want us to do about it? Well, the other questions that he asked, all he heard heard was. So why didn't you say? Even why didn't you say something? I, I tried. All right. So, uh, well, you know what? No, never you, mind. Uh, uh, well, listen. I, you know, I don't want you to be wrong. I don't want an injustice. I don't want an injustice to be uh, done here. So, uh, I don't know. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you call back and we'll play again? How about that? Okay. All right. Thanks so much. All right, buddy. Good luck with your uh, acting and uh, comedy career. Uh, in the Nutcake State up there in Connecticut. Thanks for playing. Thanks for listening. And we will do it again. All right, buddy. Listen, we're going to close out the show right after uh, these commercials. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it where it is.